okay I think it's better like this I have to make a call I have to make a call now yes 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 okay all right wonderful people great people of Biafra you all should join me once again today let me on some light I don't know I have to get some um, to some uh, some platform available to me before I will proceed. You guys should give me some minutes, and um, I also want some people to join me. If you feel like to join, yes, Ndubisi, you are welcome to this wonderful program. You all are welcome to this wonderful. Of course, I suppose. Oh, well, the Eagles have to wait. I suppose to. Somebody supposed to join me today on this broadcast and uh, Marzi, I think you have to do this thing fast so that I can be able to continue because I don't want to waste time here, please. You have to add it so that I will continue, please. Yes, we are getting in. We are getting there. Yes, Margaret people, we are getting there. We are getting to the platforms that is available to me. Yes, wonderful people. We are ready to go. I want you to invite your friends, invite your families invite those that are around you tell them to come i need the light on i think it's better for the light to be on yes i think it's better wonderful people one minute once again Right, wonderful people and great people of Biafra. I want our people to write their names so that I will call those that are going to join me. It's very, very important. And I think there is something that is missing in this, my dress. Should I need it? Should I put it on? Or I should leave it? But I think uh, it's okay like this. I want you all to join me today. Write your name so that I will call some names, Margaret people. What I'm going to do today is something that is is general. It's not going to be. It's not going to be particular one person. I'm going to talk about a lot of things, and I will also want our people to join me. I'm going to play some videos. Um, it's very important that uh, we are. Doing what we know how to do best. And we are not going to stop on this quest of self-determination. Biafra is our last hope. Only Biafra can give us that we are looking for. Only Biafra. Without Biafra coming, believe you me, 
Fulani will, will, will finish us. And those are our men, our brothers and sisters that they are into the leadership, which is the elites of uh, Biafran people, they have sold their soul to devil. They are not going to come back. And uh, we don't need these people. I greet you all once again, great people of Biafra. Like I said, I'm also going to play some voice notes while we are in this mess. I'm going to talk about the genesis of all these things that we are doing today because some people are saying that uh, we are those that are causing problems in Biafra land. We are going to talk about the genesis of this problem or this mess that we are into. And believe you me, by the time I finish explaining, you will agree with me that we must, you know, disintegrate that contraption. We must, we must, we must cease that contraption to exist. The bacchanization of that contraption is the solution. By the time I done with my, you know, what I have today, I have a lot of videos. And I'm going to also talk about the Mazen Namdekano legal team. Sometimes they will be telling you, go and bring this person, go and bring this person. You are not going to bring anybody, just anybody. No. You must bring the people, even though they are still under the law or under the constitution of that contraption called that neighborhood zoo, but they must know the root of the problem of Nigeria. That is very, very important. That is why you see somebody like Maze, but it's Ifan Yejofo. That is why you see a person like uh, Aloy Ejimako. That is why you see the person, uh, uh, I mean, like somebody like uh, uh, Sam Osakome. When you see the ideology of these people, you will know that these people know the problem of Nigeria. They, they know the root, which is the amalgamation, the beginning of the amalgamation, or the bacchanization of Africa in Berlin Conference before it comes to, you know, the, the, the amalgamation. Because we must start all this thing from the beginning. You see... I'm going to say a lot of things. We haven't forgot the, the Simon Eba, the terrorist in Finland. I'm going to also talk about him. I have also some new video. You know, now it have come to it. I don't know, maybe they are begging or they are pleading to for people to stop tagging Simon Eba as a terrorist. Of course, Simon Eba is a terrorist and he will remain terrorist. That thing that he's pushing for them to proscribe us as a terrorist, Simon Eba is the one that's going to be the terrorist. And there is no how he will escape it. We are on it. We are on it. He can run away, but he can never hide. Simon, you can hide. You have killed and maimed our people. And there is no plead. If you like, let heaven fall. That is exactly what we are praying for. Let the heaven fall. Water, water is their code. Of course, that is their code. Water, water. Let the heaven fall. We have been praying for heaven to fall. So that, because we know that if this heaven falls, nobody, nobody is going to escape it. And that is why we know that heaven will never fall. Because if heaven falls, everybody will go. And that is our prayer. But it can never. You know, I know some of you have come, some era from Simon, but I'm telling you people, the mess that Simon ever have gotten himself into, there is no way to escape. Of course, I know that he's not working, there, he's not doing this alone. He is a paid agent, but now he's back. Now, they, you know, what he bring out, the ideology, or the propaganda they bring out to our people now is backfiring Simon Eba. And those people that, that, that sent him, nobody is ready to come, you know, to help him. They, they, now what they are doing is they are doing right up. But we are going to talk about all this too. Great people and wonderful people of Biafra, you are welcome once again on Biafran Television Channel 1 slash IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano. 
Here we are. We set the record straight. We don't care your position. The Bia franchise in Washington don't care your qualification or who you are. I don't care. If you think that your position is there and my position is here, after the race, we must count the miles. Then we begin to understand those that have that ability to reason. You know, it's very hard for people to reason. It's very hard for people to understand, especially African people, that they have already put in us in that, you know, in that form that we cannot be able to reason by ourselves. We are telling the world that we, the Biafran people, we are reasonable people. We reason. We understand. We meditate. We think deeply. That is why we are Biafran people. That is why we are where we are today. That is why we will keep on agitating for Biafran referendum. Not by force. Not by force. Not by force. That is why we will keep on preaching this gospel of redemption to our people. The ideology that Mazen Nam the Okukano brought to us and they have already sent into our minds. And we are not going to stop. I will keep on propagating this issue. All right, let me send this one to Ellie Griff because it's very, very important. I caught him. Uh, block and block him forever. I have blocked him forever. I have blocked his family. I have blocked his life. I have put him where he belongs to. And he will never come back here again till thy kingdom come. You go to your page. You go there and talk to your father. I keep on saying this. All of you that are writing nonsense here, I will repeat it once again. That is why Ojuku, Dim Odume Ojuku, People General and his second in command, Philip Efio. This is the reason why they didn't restore Biafra, you know, during 1967 to 1970. You people that are here today, your fathers were the, the, sabot the saboteurs. Those that are sabotaging the struggle during the time of Ojuku. That is why they couldn't even restore Biafra. And you people also bring that idiocy back again in this our time. And we are saying in this our time, we are going to be you people's last buster. You don't even want to listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling you, Simon Eba, Oje Chagej, or Foriona, there is no two ways about it. But I am not the kind of person that always side one side. I always stay in the middle by the, I mean, in a sense that as they are doing this, they have to also do the other, other ones. <clears throat> now, let me introduce myself. Then I will start on today's broadcast. Of course, I'm supposed to have a brother with me here. Mazi Onya Meishi Oba is supposed to be here with me. But because of this thing that I keep on repeating, nobody pays us. Nobody pays us. We planned this broadcast yesterday so that he can be able to join me today. Then we propagate this issue of Biafran Restoration Project. But today something come up. He have to go and find something. You got to go. If a JT, if an Afro. Because nobody pays us. That is why you see what we are doing is voluntarily. Nobody pays. But some idiots, they are there. Instead of them to be asking people, how are you surviving? Do you think if there are some people that are, you know, this is, this uh, Biafran restoration. I'm not saying to be paying people salary. No. This is a humanitarian service. If you are into humanitarian service and you are collecting salary, you are not a freedom fighter. Humanitarian service is a something that you volunteer yourself to do, not to be collecting salary, but the organization can also support you by helping you because of the job you are doing. But if you're, you 
enter into organization which is human, humanitarian service and you place yourself on salary, you are not part of that organization. That means they hired you. I hope you people are getting my point. Some of you that are taking salary, you know, some of you that are taking salary today, you are paying yourself. You have even increased your money. As we are speaking now, you have already increased your money. And tomorrow you will come and begin to tell me that uh, you are a freedom fighter. You place yourself on salary. What they're supposed to be doing is for you. You will be doing your work. The organization you are working for will also help you, you know, support you to be able to, you know, fill some gaps that you need to. But some people today, they are on salary. They will come out and begin to tell you, we pay this, we pay that, like say, is their money. I am explaining to you people what is humanitarian service. One minute, my people. I hope my people are getting it. So, we have a lot of people in Biafra land support that, I mean, they're supposed to help as they are doing their job not to be getting salary. You are not going to call it salary, but these people, they are on payroll. And this organization that we are, it don't supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be help to them. To support them. But whenever you are in organization and you are on salary, you are not, you are a hired, uh, 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 a worker. You are a hired worker and they are paying you. You are not into that organization because your money is supposed to be a help, a support, so that you can be able to fill some gaps that you have, maybe because the way you are working is lesser and you have to travel to some places, you have to spend more money, even though sometimes the, those organizations can help you to pay your trip going and coming back because you are doing humanitarian service. But to be on salary is unacceptable. That is not the way a freedom fighting organization runs or humanitarian service work because some of you that are taking salary i want you people to know that what you are doing is wrong it's not supposed to be that way like i said i supposed to be here now with a brother but nobody is helping him nobody is helping him i think i have somebody i don't know maybe he want to uh ask a question i will also paste my number here because i want to you know get the opinion of people because we are saying things the way it is you know, and uh, when you when, when when you are not when anything is not under your jurisdiction, you have no power to begin to tell person what to do. I have said this thing time with that number to the leadership. I am not part of the leadership, but I will keep on advising them because if I tell you that I I the Biafran child don't know the ethics of this movement. I will be, I will, you know, is something that if I say I don't know, that means I say lie. I have been in this struggle, and since the rendition of our leader, I have gone more deeper to understand why this is like this, why that is like this. If this thing was so from the beginning, it not supposed to be that way. That is why you see, I keep on saying this. Of course, some of you will turn it upside down. I am not a follow follow freedom fighter. I am not. I reason and I ask questions. When necessary, I ask questions to understand is this thing supposed to be this way or not? Yes, of course, maybe when I started this struggle, I never involved deeply like the way it is today because Mazen Namdekano was out here with us, is helping us in a lot of things. So we don't have to begin to ask questions. But now that Mazen Namdekano, you know, they kidnapped him, they renditioned him. When we ask a question, 
They told us Mazin Namdekan is on, on mountain praying, even though I don't know if he's on the mountain or in the mountain. Because there is a caves. There is a mountain that have caves. Probably, I don't know, maybe it's Mazin Namdekan is inside the mountain or he's on top of mountain praying. That is what they told us. And that is a, a lie from the beat of hell. Now, let me introduce myself before I will proceed on today's broadcast because it's very, very important that our people understand who is speaking to them. All right, wonderful and great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media slash Biafra Television Channel 1 under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Okukano. My name is Mazo Kinna Okichukun, known as the Biafran Child Wachineke, their general. I am IPOB under chain of command. I repeat, I am IPOB under chain of command. Mazen Nandi Okukano is the highest commander of this largest movement on this planet of core IPOB. Some of you that are asking who is the highest authority is Oyendo Mazen Namdekano. And uh, the DOS wishes the structure and the highest office of this movement lead by Mazichike, Dozim, Every department in IPOB should listen to him, should obey his command because he is the last to say. And he is the man in charge on absence of our leader. So every one of us from the beginning to the end must report to him. If you are not reporting to him, you are not part of us. That is what they call insubordination. That is what they call insubordination. You must re report to him. You must obey his command. You must do as he said. If you may say, baka, baka, they remove you. And if he don't suit you, you wait till the end comes. You wait Till Mazen Namde can come, then you complain. But for him to carry the order, for him to give the order, he will. And there is nothing you can do about it because he is the man in charge. I have told them, continue doing what you are doing. The main IPOB media warriors that they are entrepreneurs that Mazen Namde can called, they are not under payrolls. We are in support of you. Anything you tell us to do is exactly what we're going to do. If you tell us to carry on, we are going to carry on. If you expel anybody, we will tell you, we tell the world we have expelled them. If it's not okay with them, they wait till Odin comes. Now you understand. And IPOB is our family. And these three things that I mentioned, of course, I must defend it jealously, regardless who you are. Who cares who you are? Nobody cares. You may be sitting on our money, using the you know the idea of our our people that who onye jigu kegu neso we are living in Western world. When you go in a company that they have a maybe two hundred employees. The person in charge of finance is not the owner of the money. The money belongs to the company. And as we are living in Europe today, you can never see the person in charge of the money begin to brag and say, or oh, I am the one that's settling, them. I am the one that's giving payment to the workers. No, it's your duty. It's under your jurisdiction to pay them. That does not mean that the money belongs to you. No. It's a company's money. Under your jurisdiction, you are paying them. That does not mean that you will come out tomorrow and begin to tell us that 
Uh, I'm paying you. I'm paying you. You, you know where you it's a company's money. I hope you people are getting my point. So IPOB is our family. Now you understand it. I am from Ihala in Anambra, Anambra in Biafra land. Great and wonderful people. Let me start my preamble like this. We have to understand why we are fighting. We have to understand the reason why we are doing what we are doing today to free our people from the bondage they are, from the amalgamation of Rugard 1914. And uh, we have to also understand that before the amalgamation, there is a land called Biafra. Go to the ancient map, you will see it there. Biafra. And uh, we know that when they started all these things, every one of us are doing well on their own path of where they came from. But because they know that the Fulanese can't stand because hunger will destroy them. Because there is no, they can't do it. They, these people are so lazy. There is no thinker in their land. There is no learned people. So they have to, you know, bring or brought them together so that they can be able to survive. At the same survive today, we have find ourselves because the British people give power to those people that they know that they have nothing so that they can be able from there to control our people. That is exactly what is going on. That is the, their mindset when they were bringing these people together. Water and oil. Because they know that the Fulanese, they are also foreigners in that contraption. For them to be able to suck us and milk us dry, they must come from those people. So now they give the power to the Fulanese so that they can be able to control that contraption called Aminibu Zoo. That is why you see Katrina Line today is jumping around, dancing Skeriwu. A very, very, you know, I don't know how to put this. But uh, if you are saying that white people, that is a example of ugly. I never see a white person like this because we all believe that whenever you see white people because of their color, they are beautiful. That is why today in our land, some people are going there, changing their color. Because they believe that when you are yellow in complexion, that means that you're a beautiful person. When you come to Europe where I'm residing today, you will know that your color is what they want. Just have a good structure. Just make yourself trying to find a structure, body structure, and always be clean. They will like you. You know, when I was in that contraption, I was seeing myself as an ugly guy. But when I came to Europe, because of the structure and everything, body structure, trying to fix my body, I begin to see that this is exactly what they want. So forget rubbing cream on your body. It's not going to help you. You are in uh, Africa rubbing, rubbing cream. We are in Europe, stay with our color. And they are coming. They are trooping. They are trooping. They are coming, you know, because of the way you have positioned yourself, because of the way, the structure you have given your, bo your body. That is why they must come. You don't have to beg them. They will like your color. They will tell you, this color will love it. But because you are living in Africa, now you, you, because they bring Jesus Christ as a white person and the green eyes, all of you want to turn to white. Why can't you ask those people now that are living already in Europe, why we don't turn ourselves to white? Why? Because we understand that this our color is the best they need it. Now you understand. Okay. You see, like I said about the humanitarian service. Humanitarian service, like I said, this is going to be a general issue. Humanitarian service 
is not, you are not going to wait for person to pay you money before you begin to work a humanitarian service. A humanitarian service is a something that you volunteer yourself to do. That is why Mazen Namdekano said, told them Bridget to Okafo, Bridget to Okafo. Don't double into our ESN. These people are humanitarian service. They don't have to be, they don't have to place them on salary because they are on humanitarian service. We can only help them, provide for them. Cutter some of their needs, but not placing them on salary. Are you people getting the point? Of course, it's not everything we are going to become and begin to, you know, shout. A perima, don't double into our men's on the ground. They are humanitarian, they are under humanitarian service. Don't double into it. Leave them alone. Don't go there and get them confused, telling them that they're supposed to be getting 1,000 Naira because they are there, but they are not giving them anything. That is a humanitarian service. They are not into payroll. Are you getting the point? Because some of you don't even understand what is a humanitarian service. That is why I'm coming here to explain more and more. When you shame for Okoko Nemen Kovili, Today is nowhere to be found. They are still uh, the FATO government. At the same time, the uh, president of the FATO government, which is Asari Dohubo, is working with the zoo called Nigeria, and they have a Nigeria Guinea, Nigeria flag on their badge. We never ask Ushemefo. Ushemefo, are you still part of Human Rights Radio, the FATO government? You people declare the FATO government. Exactly where Iberima also went and declared government in exile, but today they have already stolen it from him. On a basic anyam. Who shame for your father is gossiping? Who says his father is gossiping here? Who says his father is gossiping? I will send him to Shuko I have spotted you now. Your own is gone. Idiots. That is why we lost the war during 1967 to 1970, because of your father. Because your father was sabotaging the struggle during Oju. Your own is gone. Your own is gone. Your father was sabotaging the struggle during Oju and his second in command, Philip Aphion. Your father was one of those that are sabotaging it. That is why we lost the war. And you people are bringing the same idiocy and attitude of sabotaging our struggle. We are not going to take it. Simon Eba is a criminal and he's a terrorist. Simon Eba is a terrorist. There is no two ways about it. Simon Eba is what is a terrorist. So let me continue on humanitarian. They told Eberima, don't double into our men's on the ground. Eberima run so fast, the little he knows. He went to change his name to ESN. He had in Joko. Now he become his, he is now ESN. I don't know why a person, the indigenous people of Biafra created the ESN Eastern Security Network. And one idiot, Simon Eber, the terrorist that massacred our people, killed a pregnant woman. He killed a pregnant woman. He killed a pregnant woman. With her unborn child, a pregnant inside the belly. Simon Eber killed them. Or oh, don't you people see it? Am I lying? Simon Eber is the one that killed them. Simon Eber is the one that is burning markets in our places. Are you not seeing it? Or are you people blind? All these idiots that are writing nonsense, are you blind? Can't you see it? That Simon Eber killed a pregnant woman? Or you don't see it? Simon Eber is a terrorist. He's running 440. He's going nowhere. He is no is going nowhere. Where is this going? Now he stopped picking his call. He's, he has off this telephone. My phone is on. 24 hours. Call me. I will pick my phone. My phone is on. We don't off our phone because we are on humanitarian service. We are on humanitarian service. I'm still on humanitarian service. Simon Eber went and write his name ESN. 
begin to get our people on the ground confused that he is the one that is ESN. Now, he run for 40, 440 at Dragon. Mazin Nandekan who raise a dragon flag, he go and add his name Dragon. Getting our people confused. Getting our people confused. Where is Bridget Okafu today? Can you tell me where is Bridget Okafu? Nowhere to be found. Mazin Eliofewu, nowhere to be found. Rabbit Shas, they are nowhere to be found. Owe Fina Kwasli, nowhere to be found. Riazon Akan people, nowhere to be found. Caroline Okura for Emen Kogiri. Na Kwasle Na Gagale with her mother, Adama Brown. You see, a people, mother and daughter, they, they don't have even the same name. Nowhere to be found. They are just, I, I want to ask you people, all these people. That started all this nonsense. When all this shenanigans just started. Where are all these people today? Ask me. This is my question. Where are they? You see. We are their last bus stop. They are going nowhere. You understand? That is why we are here. They will come. And they will go. And we will still remain here. We are going nowhere. No transfer, no leave, no transfer. We are here. We are not good. You see, till Piafra is totally restored, that is what we have been choosing. I have chosen my part. The Biafran child have chosen his part. He left for you to choose your own path on this Biafran restoration project. Because if you made up your mind, that means you are not going to return back. You have already crossed the Rubicon and there is no way of returning back. That is what... That is my stand. I don't know if you people are getting my point. The Bia franchise, they want to check. Where are these people that I mentioned their name? Where are they? Nowhere to be found. The last one that spark up was a Berima. He want to use it against our people that he know what he's doing. Now, let me begin to tell our people the root of all this problem. We are going to listen this voice from our our one of the legal team from Mazin Nandi Okukan, which is Mazi Osakume. We are going to listen to the root of the problem of Nigeria and how we are where we are today. Why we start this agitation? Because there is something behind this agitation. Some people think that you just come up here and begin to agitate, begin begin to agitate, trying to you know, because they will say you you are you are causing problem. You you are causing problem. You are causing problem. I have said this to the Yoruba people. I have said this thing, this thing to the the real Hausa people. Does it mean that you people are blind? Does it mean that you people are blind? That imagine you said that we are one people according to what you people are, you know, projecting to people, trying to lie people, trying to tell people we have already intermarried, there is no need of breaking off. You people are mad people. All of you people are mad. I keep on asking the reasonable Yorubans. You have seaports in Yoruba land. You have international airports. In Yoruba land, you have a government presence in Yoruba land. Let's go to Aosa with the Fulanese. In Aosa land, you have a, a, a seaport which is dry port. It's a dry port they built, you know, now they call it port. But it was a dry port, it, it is a dry port. When you clear your goods, probably, probably in a papa, you will transfer it to the Kaduna or Kassena. In that dry port, you will go there and clear your goods. Yes, we call it port. In Abuja, they have international airport. They have government presence. They have everything about government. When you come in Biafra land, because you people don't even reason. That is why I said, we are not one people. And we can never be one people. 
Because you people are so evil that some of you don't even understand why we are saying that we won't be Afro. Why can't you all go to your government, to your, to your representative and tell them that, but this cry that these people are crying, there is something behind it. We are not just crying. How can you, as a whole Biafran people, coastal and hinterland of Biafra, they must come from Lagos. They must come from Abuja. Whenever they bring their goods from Europe, they must clear their goods, either Lagos or Abuja. Have you ever asked yourself that question? Why can't you tell your governors? Because we know this reason. We know the reason. They are doing all these things to make sure that Biafra have been forgotten. That we are not going to talk about Biafra. We travel to Yoruba land. We travel to Aosa land to, you know, intermarry and live there and build up there. By the time that today, Nigeria, I don't know, maybe 64 years, they will begin to tell us, how do you think that we are going to separate? Listen to me, let me tell you people something. I married an European, a Schenke for that matter, because Europe are not the same. I want you people to know. I married a Schenke woman. That does not mean I don't know where I came from. That does not mean that tomorrow when, uh, for instance, if things are not going well, I don't, I cannot return to my land. I know where I am from, where I came from, regardless that I'm married European. It does not matter. But you can be able, I can be able to identify, you know, where I am from. That is very, very, that is most important. One minute again, please. That is what I'm talking about, my great people. If you be able to understand that, so you begin to tell all these useless people that they don't know the reason why we are fighting for Biafra. Tell them the reason why. Tell them what we are asking for. Tell them that in Biafra land, there is somebody will go to school and come out with first class upper. You can't even find a job in your land. You have to move to Yoruba land or you move to Aosa land, which is Aosa Fulani. You have to move to their land to be able to, you know, apply for job in what you study. Because all those things that you study, it's not in, in a real, there's no place you can find a job there in our place. Why is like that? Why? That is question that we keep on asking. Why? Why the cutoff mark of Biafran people is different from the West, is different from the North? Why are we not in the same Nigeria? Why is that in Nigeria? Why Nigeria practice two arms of government? Why? Do you know that Nigeria practice two arms of government? One is Sharia, one is secular government, which is the applied to the, to the, to the South. And the North, they practice whatever they want. And when we are saying all these things, some people don't even understand. In the same country, you have two arms of government. In Sharia, Sharia is there. When you do something, they say, and you say that we are one people. Just imagine. Just I want you people to begin to reason. That is when I will be telling our people, do you know that Fulani owns Nigeria? Some people will say, you are lying. But you see there, there is two arms of government. Nigeria is practicing two systems of government. Two systems is there already. Almost 16 to 18 states in North. They are practicing Sharia. The other people, they are practicing another thing. And you are telling me that this is not uh, two systems of government. Where in the world have you seen something like that? Where, where, where? Ask me. Only in that contraption called Amnibus. But some of you don't even understand. I see some people, they will carry my video, begin to analyze nonsense. You people are a bunch of idiots. They want us to go away from our land, to develop their lands, so that tomorrow we are not going to talk about Biafra. So that Biafra will die. That is the reason why they take everything away from our land. They regard 
that the main resources that is making that country to boom why we are one people the resources is coming from our land and we have no government presence in our land just imagine ask yourself why you see that is why we're here to tell you what it is to tell you the reason why they will keep on you know holding us down if we cry they will knock us on our heads tell us to stop crying but we have been we are we are not going to stop crying now let us go to michael sakome to listen to what he said the reason why agitation is there Security. It is insecurity, social and political insecurity, that have led to self-determination moves. I don't like the word separatist. Nnamdi Kanu is not a separatist. It's a self-determination movement person. And self-determination. Yes. Is recognized by all international instruments. You recognize, including the United Nations Charter, is there. the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, African Charter on Human the and Economic and Political Charter. It's recognized all over the world. So it's not. It, it, I pop that he has formed about 2012 did not start as a violent organization they were marching on the streets of onicha oka aba oweri umwaya and other places saying we want self-determination give us biafra give us biafra they were peaceful they were blowing whistle are you listening wearing berets until 14th yes of september 2017. Yes, I followed you. When the Nigerian army through Operation Python Dance invaded the ancestral home of Eze Kanu, the father of Nnamdi Kanu, at Afara Uku, Ibeku, Umwahia, in Nabia State. 28 defenseless and unarmed Nigerians were killed in that bloody invasion. And Nnamdi Kanu managed. You know, escape. you know, I want you people to know the reason why I have heard it time with that number. Some people are saying they sent a lawyer to go and support Mazen Namdekanu, but they couldn't allow them. Listen, you are not going to bring any lawyer to this our case. You must bring people that they are indigenous, that they understand the reason why we are doing what we are doing. Oburonde Gabe, Potofana Akonenu. No. Mazen Nam de Kano have sanitized all these people. Any lawyer that is going to join us have to be sanitized. On our own ako, on our qualified garden. You have to be speaking on our own, you know, what we want to hear. Tell us the reason Nigeria was amalgamated. Tell us the reason why the Biafra people should ask for referendum because it's in who are you UN charter this is the kind of people bro yeah but we don't have a referendum in the nigerian constitution does it have to do with nigeria it has to do with you and the word charter yeah we are not person will be saying reasonable things when you call a this idiotic lawyers in nigeria they will be telling you eh hey, but uh, uh, we don't have referendum in our constitution we don't have a referendum in African Charter. Who cares about you in Africa or UN Charter or, or I mean your, your Nigerian Constitution? Who cares? They are telling you the treaty that Nigeria by themselves also signed. The word treaty is telling you about the word, not telling you about the zoo. No, it's telling you the word. What they, they agreed when they joined that treaty, what they signed. Not Nigerian people will tell you so. They will be telling you it's not in our country. Who cares your constitution if it's there or not? 
but we are telling you what you know is right for people to agitate agitation is right self-determination is is your right you can you know carry it on without any disturbance in catalonia they are not killing anybody but today mazin namdekan is in prison in dss dungeon the competent court that we talk that we thought that nigeria had begin to use their sense have released him but one idiot with uh, the help of for and they are thrown and they they didn't deal they hold him there that means that everything in nigeria uh, can i say is a privatized they can just do whatever they want to do bugari will tell you we'll stop it and they will stop it now let us continue please with the whiskers yes and by providence landing in Rome <coughs> and later Israel where he swore to Afidavis as regards why he had to run for his dear life. Yes, he has to. So let me tell Mr. President, sir, let me use this opportunity to beg you, Mr. President, sir, the dead one, oh. on my bended knees, bended most genuflectingly, the dead even as our case is right now before the Supreme Court, Without prejudice to the outcome, release Nabdi Kano immediately. I'm still saying it. I will come back here. I will come back here. <coughs> you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, we say things the way it is. Sometimes some people, when I say this now, some people will say, why are you saying this? Like I said, I am not a full, full freedom fighter. I say things the way it is. The terrorist Simon Eba, they are writing petition. Ngwa, Jidenia, and Ege Jidenaria, they must cash you. They must. Simon Eba must pay the atrocity, the hideous crime he has committed against the great people of Yam. He must pay for it. Simon Eba must pay. And Simon Eba is a terrorist. He must pay. He must pay. And he must pay it times one million times someone ever must pay because he's a terrorist but all these people that are writing petition guy hold him hold him hold him how they write this kind of petition when they release onion do so that they will free him like, okay free onion do them now free onion do you people to free onion do now free him now free him allow him to go allow him to go Allow him to go if you people are not working together. If you, you government and Eberima call the terrorists are not working together, release Onyendu. Release him. You people will not release him because all of you people are working together. That is why I'm telling you, you see this, all this formality, all this, uh, some people are saying uh, they have getting 22,000 votes to, to bring Eberima back. Eberima, they, they must bring him back. But my question is, you people should release Onion do now. What? But competent court have reason. Why are you people still holding him? You people are just doing this so that they will say that uh, the reason why Ibrima is doing this is because they are holding Onion do. No. That is the agenda. That is what they told him. Remain on that. We are not going to release him. But that will be what you will, you know, you lay your hand on and begin to say it. He come out yesterday. He, he begin to say they are going to be feeding on you with two, two, two million naira. You know, some some gullible people now will be saying, ah, this guy chukwa po wa kubo man this itre wa kubo man leba his safu di ego ana. Nigerian government are funding you. They are giving you. They now tell you to come and tell them that you will be gave, giving on you two million naira. And you think that we are going to buy that nonsense from you with your paid agent people? We are not going to take that nonsensical from you. All of you people are one. If you people are not one, I want you people to release him. Do release him now. Release him. Happen here. Happen here. Dear, Happen on him. Do happen here. You people should release him. You people are a bunch of criminals. All of you are working hand to hand, eating and dying together. That is why you come now. You want us to forget about the pregnant woman that Simon ever killed in our land? Is it what you people are telling us to forget about him? The answer is no. 
We are going to catch someone ever. You must pay for war, the blood of innocent people that you have marked. Oga wuna li obwea, whether you like it or not. Oga wuna. But if you na wuna, lease your name for us. You people should lease your name for us. You see all of you in Afaruku Ibeku. I know, I know, some of you are bringing politicians in the night to discuss on the head of mass. We are seeing every, you see all of you in Afaruku Ibeku bringing politicians. You know, you discussing with, we see everything. The day that I will begin to mention you people's name, Oga Imunu Vunanya, then you people will know we are not coming here to joke. They bring also one stupid nonsense article. Nandekano's family. You see where all this nonsense, that is why I'm telling you people, I don't know the kind of, I don't know how our people think. You are, you are raising, uh, they say they raise one million for only for only do feeding. Nandekano's family. That is when sometimes I, 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 I don't even understand why our people reason upside down? Why? You people will leave IPOB, the structure of IPOB, begin to call Kano's family. What is, are you, you, do you people think that we come here for family business? Is it what you people think that we are doing here? I want you people to be using correct words on this issue that we are. You use IPOB and the IPOB and the mass in the canon. You people should take away all this family that you people are using that is causing problem. Because that is why sometimes some people will take it upon themselves. Now Simon Eman now is telling you that is why he's going to give two million. I don't know why some of our people cannot just reason and understand that these people just want to begin to use your people's brain. Some of you that lack ability to reason. But we are here to reset your mind, you know, to tell you what it is. So you begin to understand and know what we are saying. The reason why we are in this mess, the reason why we will continue, you know, propagating this issue, the reason why that we are not going to stop, the reason why we must keep on pushing till Mazen Namdekano is being free, the reason why we will continue without stopping, the reason why Biafra must come in our time, the reason why the humanity should take place in Africa, that is why we're here. I don't know how we are going to be suffering on this Biafran project. Some people are in Umwaja, Faruqui Beku, now on the governor, now they visit here. And they visit here. Mkwona say, eh, Biafran child, who tell you to? Oh, yes, you Oh, yes, you Imana, oh my God. Mazi, please. You know, there is an article that I, I saw. Let me bring this article out about Iberima. Because Spirit have is telling me to speak now. Can be the I want to bring this article from Iberima. And uh, we also send a message to to what is his name? Um uh, Kevan Akwea. Tony Blay. We are going to send a message to Tony Blay. Do you people know this? Uh, this uh, television, you say it's a television station. Do you people know this idiot? Have you people know this idiot? I don't want to call his name. Uh, the name of uh, the group, something television. It's not NFT television. This idiot now you are seeing here. This uh, who has this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, page? Let me bring it back. You see who has this page? Let me read what they put here. They wrote, now they, they, they want to let, uh, they say, uh, the 839 have signed. Let's get to 1,000. Just imagine, wait. They said, stop the attack on Simon Eber. It's politically motivated. He is not a terrorist. Now, you see. So, after Simon Eber killed a pregnant woman, now he's a politically motivated. After Simon ever killed a, 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 a pregnant woman. But my question is now. These people. Just one minute. Please.
you see where I know that these people are working with politicians on this post that is here. I know. That is why I'm here to debunk it. Stop the attack on Simon Eba. It is a politically motivated. He is not a terrorist. Simon Eba is a terrorist. Simon Eba is a terrorist and is a terrorist and he is a terrorist. Simon Eba have massacred, maimed, killed and destruction of properties of our people. Is there. The record is there. The record is there. Now, the plan of these people is that they say they have to sign, you know, so that uh, Simon Eba we we go scot free by killing a pregnant woman, burning off her market, forcing people to sit at home, force at home, and you say that is uh, politically motivated. Motivated by who? Was Mazen Nandikano? I hope Mazen Nandikano said that he did not send anybody to go and kill or sit at home, or you people did not hear it. And some of you that are coming now telling us that they should sign. When they release Mazen Nam Diokukano in competent court of Nigeria, did you people bring back this kind of idiocy for us to sign? For us to get 1,000 people to free Mazen Nam Diokukano? When they came to Enugu State, they killed and maimed our people. Did you people bring this attitude of, I mean, the stupidity in you people? Did you people bring this thing out for us to sign so that the government will go to attack those Fulanis that are coming from Sahel? None. You see where I'm saying that all of you people are working together. All of you people are in the same, you know, you people are in the same you know, you are some group of idiots that are coming to, you know, make sure that this struggle that we are is not going to work for us. <clears throat> but we are saying that I can't say no, 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 no. Simon Eba is a criminal. Simon Eba is a terrorist. But what I'm asking now, as you people are saying that we should, we should, you know, sign, I don't know how they put this in, they say they, they could not put it very well here, but they say they have already gotten 839 have signed. You know, as you people are signing this thing, you see it here? You see it here? I hope you people are reading it. How can they take a dragon there? How can they take a massive name they cannot picture there? You see, before Simon Eba will go scot free on these things because he must pay dearly by killing our people. But I want you people to also to set up a, 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 a network. I don't know how what actually they are calling when people are signing. I don't even know what they are calling it. They, I mean to put up this kind of thing to you people to sign that Simon Eba should stop using IPOB and the Mazen and the Kano name. Can you people also sign that? Because that is where they are using us. The politicians that the Nigerian government are using us. By telling Simon Eba to continue mentioning Mazen and the Kano and IPOB. Can you people going to sign or build up this kind of a platform for people to sign? If we get only 1,000, for Simon Eba to stop using Mazen Nam De Kano and IPOB, let him stand on his own. Let him make himself known that he should stop being ectoparasite on us. He should start and form his own, form his own, so that we will know who they are. They should stop pushing on our body. Let us also sign that. Can we also sign that? Okay, another one. What's the engineer, engineer, engineer idiot? Oh, go say about engineer. Dearly, dearly. Your own is gone now. How can I block, block and bound? Block finally. I want to block finally. I don't want to bound him. I have to block him. I want to block him. After Simon ever kill our people, why can't they listen to him? Have you asked yourself the question? Are they now listening to now? Why sit at home have gone now? 
they are finished now. We are still counting. We are still counting. We will keep on counting till the last day. They told you people that Biafra will come. If he like, oh, he said that Biafra will not come again. I, the Biafra child, will help him to be counted. I think that he remained 89 days after the election. We will see what is going to happen. Now they are begging. The one they called Ndidi Amaka a stupid and nonentity. A stupid and nonentity that knows absolutely nothing. It, that she don't even reason and think at all. And those Ohane Zendi Ibo Ibo World Congress. That is why sometimes I said those people you see they are doctor, professor, adding some stupid name to the to, to attach it to their name. They are nobody. Forget about all these people. Don't even listen to them. Just imagine a World Ibo Congress chairman. Or the the the, 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 the present general went to the, the Amaka, and they are there ranting and talking all sort of rubbish from their mouth. This man don't know where to go. This man don't know where to go. The, the Amaka that said that they are not going to listen to a man in TSS dungeon. The, the Amaka that Mazie Simon Mazie Mazine Leofebu have said have told people who Simon ever is. That they contracted Simon ever to come and work with her. But because of the echoes of Nelly Ofebu, Nelly decided not to work with her again. Ndidi Amaka and uh, Ghana, Omar Kata Rosemary. Rosemary hijacked Simon ever. As they are killing our people today, they don't even talk about the killings of our people. They are talking about pardoning or leaving a beriman. Begging for a beriman. Chukuga own on Chadi in Oku, and all of you people must pay. There is no two ways about it. Ndiri, Ndiri. Do you know that Rosemary was. Let me see if I have this video. I want you people to hear what Nkana or Rosemary said. You will know that these people have begun to compare Simon Epa and the Mazen Nandekana. Let me bring it, then you see. Rosemary is putting Mazin Namdekano in the same position with Eberima. Let me see. I want to bring a. Look at uh, this uh, obo. Look at this obo. They call him. Is it a prof? They say it's a prof. Prof. Anthony Ejofo. W C. People you call men's 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 equal wine men's inside equal wine. Oh, yeah, also he knows Mazen Simon. Listen to what this idiot is saying. One name quote, Mucho, or what he can me because do you, are you paying me? You, you know that you're not paying me now, and uh. That is, you cannot do anything because you are nobody. You are nobody. Listen to this, Okoko. I know, I know him from the company of uh, MNK. But right now, it doesn't look like what he's doing will not be dangerous to Nam and to our people. So, I think that 
then we will this conversation here will make that decision. It's not a decision for me to make. One, the legal option, which is pretty much on the table and right. Two, diplomatic option, which means engagement of the government of Finland through diplomatic sources we can generate from out here. We are wondering, even after DSS reported the matter to the federal government, the federal government has not deemed it wise to condemn the activities. They are always wanting to give the impression that those activities are the activities of IPOB and the activities of the DSN that we know. So, those three aspects, let me just enumerate them for the purposes of clarity. Legal action. We must wear that. You see, diplomatic action. You see, you I know why I'm telling you people that these people don't even understand? We have been saying this from the day one. We have been saying this from the day one. And these people call themselves a professor. Don't even reason. They don't even think about this. They don't even see it coming. So when I speak, they will tell me they are professors. You see where I have a problem with these people. That is why Oyendu said, come with your common sense. Just ability to reason. Just come with just that thing that makes you to think. Come with it. Forget about your qualification. If this man called himself a prof, now understand that Simon Eba is not working for Nindu. That all this ESN that he created, that he called himself ESN Dragon, was is going to put our leader, our leader more in problem. Now they begin to understand. Now, now after two years, they redition of Mazen. After two years. That to show you that I remember when they bring also some issue after the man in charge expelled Bridget Okafo and some people in Reason account they suspend them they bring one propaganda uh, Onyendu said uh, we should bring them back Onyendu said we should make a bridge to Okafo, a uh, uh, part of the DOS. Father, don't make what fun. We cannot go as the name or 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 tabaji tachaji guru or not go in. Or don't make what not go in. Or don't make what tabaji tachaji or not go or not go or not go or not go in. Or not go in. Or not go They say that we should bring them back to DOS. Ask yourself now that or don't make what is one of those people. After they caught in Ghana, uh, Pastor Jack in Biafra land, the man they are using to, you know, set up camps. They have caught the guy. The guy is in DSS uh, custody, DSS. And the man is counting. The guy, he just say, you know, he opened his mouth, he will be calling, calling, calling. Or don't remember, his name is there in DSS. Bridget Okafo, her name is there in DSS. Their name is there. If we we brought those people back to be part of the US, by now they could have proscribed IPOB. By now they will proscribe IPOB worldwide. That's when I told you people, when I said this time with that number, the doors are wise. Happen dinini if you want to call you. Happen dinini if you want to call you. Happen dinini if you want I remember when Kai Kingsley Khan was telling us that uh, the leadership should allow Simon. They know better. And he is the one that also projected Simon ever from the beginning. They will, he will still come back again and begin, begin to tell you, but it's the leadership that brought Simon. The same thing he told me. Because he not Kingsley Khan. I don't lie against him. Also, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Everything I said from my mouth is what he told me.
through phone conversation. I used to talk to Kananta 24 hours. Not 24 hours when I say 24 hours, not like every day, every day, but when we speak, we last. What we were talking within one hour, one hour, something, I can use it for two hours, for five days. Now you understand. He came to me. He don't even know that I know the first day that he did that broadcast that Simon ever should go to the, to the radio Biafra and begin to broadcast. He don't know that I watched the video. He is the first person that turned up your body. Oh, no, no, yeah. And they're supposed to know better. And they are the leadership. They should give a slot to Simon and they have to. Is false. And I kill your bro. You be my So you will copy and paste. And I call you on over. Copy and paste. Today, they have forgotten about what they said. They came back and begin to tell me that, uh, but the leadership are the one that uh, projected Simon ever. Like, you are talking to kindergarten, you know, kids. Now you understand what I'm talking about, my people. I hope you people are getting the point. So tell them to go and get seated. And come and take more knowledge. They have to learn. They have to learn and understand. You see, when I'm telling you people, they are beginning to condemn Simon Eber now. I saw where they, where they are writing on their Twitter uh, that Mazen Nambikan have condemned it because they have seen that a lot of people now are into it. That Simon Eber now is on hiding. Even though if you listen to Simon Eber, you will know that he's panicking. He's panicking. He's just calling a lot of people. Those people that projected him to begin to. He have been calling them. You people have to do something. Oh. You know, saying, oh, you, now you people push me. Oh. I'm not doing this because of it. Because Simon ever don't have that power to begin to do all this. If politician is not supporting him. There is no how Simon ever can do this. He can't. He has Simon ever is nobody for him to be, you know, challenging the whole indigenous people. To the extent that he mur he murdered, he killed a, a, a pregnant woman, blood daylight, with the baby in the womb. He killed the, the person. Blood daylight. He massacred the woman. Take the woman to Chukukika. Early, early, early one for that matter. A innocent child that knows nothing. Simon ever killed innocent baby. Innocent baby. Innocent baby. Now he's calling everybody to come and help him. They should talk to these people. You know that you people are the one that sent me. I'm not doing this in alone. Someone ever will be buying machine gun to our people in Biafra land 24 hours. We know all these things. Sending to them to go and begin to use it to kill people. To intimidate our people. Now, on a I'm not the government to come and help him. And I, the little he knows, he don't know that you see. Politics in Africa or in that zoo is a game of, it's a dirty game. You know, sometimes they will tell you politics is a dirty game, not the way, not in Europe, it's a lie. You know, our people like to form something. They like to, you know, give a name to every situation they come across. Now, because Nigeria are kind of people that don't reason, they don't understand how to build. They only know how to consume. But to produce, they don't know. And because of that, one person, one idiot, and he will still call himself a doctor or a professor, will come and tell you that a politics is a game of, uh, it's a dirty game. And all of them will carry it on their head. Yes, yeah, so it's a dirty game. It's a lie. It's a lie. Politics is the, is the government. And then when, when you see some government that they really know what they are doing, like here in Germany, you will see they help their own people. They to next year now, the the the, the money they are paying the <clears throat> the kinders that the kids they born here in Germany, they will increase it next month, which is next year. They will increase it, even though more fifty euro. Do you know how much fifty euro in that contract? They are multiplying it now in Germany. Before, before, before you get a German P, it will take you eight years. Now they have reduced it back again five years. That is the law they want to implement now. This is, it, it, though, how can you going to call this in a dirty game now? Why some people are there telling you by you giving these people eight years is too much? It's too much for you. Huh? Somebody that have come here that have already 
joined the society, he have lived here, he have worked here. Allow him to be part of you. This is what they are debating. That is where the game of politics is a free and fair and a sweet game. Not in that zoo. They will tell you say it's a dirty game. And some people will believe it. Too. I hope you people haven't forgotten when they say that uh, Nigeria is a national king. This is just a bunch of idiots that after they stole from you finish, they don't know what to call it. When they will begin to ask them, come and account those money, how this money they will tell you is a national cake. And they will end it there. It's a national cake because there is no answer. Only in Nigeria, snakes swallowed money, swallowed billions of naira. And sometimes some people will say, it's a, because there is no answer. That is why they tell you politi politics is a dirty game only in Africa. In that zoo, politics is not a dirty game. Politics is a, a group of people that reason and understand the needs of their own people. They understand the needs and they understand how they will be able to help their citizens to grow, to reduce criminality in their land. But because they call it dirty game in that contraption, you will see some people, they will go and contrast some good laws to put them on the street to intimidate others. That is why they call it a dirty game. Simon, ever you must pay, you must pay heavily. Let us continue listening to this man. I think, uh, no, this one is too much. Let me see if I get that place. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, welcome back, Mr. President. You were talking and your line went off. Um, as a woman, she's a mother to us. She has reached out to community, reached out to him. He was kidnapped by the Nigerian government. And already blood has been shared on his school. Uh, as we have seen it, and the fact that... Aha! I will come up to the bed and wake up. Wake up. Rosemary. Then I wake up. Wake up about Rosemary. I'm not here. This is the woman. They are the first person saying that they are not going to listen to man in DSS dungeon. They said it. Rosemary. Wake up. Said it. Now listen how he began to put Mazen Nandekam and Simon Eba in the same level. Jelly lady. Nah. Ndia hawa kwa yon on a deal. Hano kwa na di. Hana koili ya koili. Jelly lady. Listen to Rosemary. Thank you so much, sister. Ndia Maka. My name is uh, Rosemary Williams. Yes. I am... Um, the secretary to the Republic of the African government secretary. in ESA. Secretary. I'm also a full-fledged IPOB. A full-fledged IPOB. And the vice president of Umwada. And the, and the vice. <laughs> I have listened attentively. It's, it's, although we said go straight to the question, there's oh, no way I can just jump to the question without trying to explain myself. I can show them up with Simon Eba. Yes. Uh, as we have seen it. As we have seen it. And the five days sit at home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just went up. Yes. And also, uh, we have heard and read the documents of Barrett State Jopo taking Simon Eba to court. Yes. Barrett State Jopo. Has had issues and continue to have issues with Simon. No, no, no. Please, sir, please go straight to your question. Oh, well, I to be so question to no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They live well. They don't want him to go there. They don't want her to go there. Idiot. Let me bring another one. No, oh, can be a for talent. Be a for talent. Daily, daily. Mad people everywhere. Mad people. Mad people. If they try and get on, try and get on there. Rosemary said that they are having a problem. Rosemary, come and tell us the problem they are having with uh, Barisefa and Ejofo. Come and tell us the problem. Let us listen to this voice. Let 
Listen to what an Aosa man told our people. And I want you people to also make sure that this video get to Peter Obi. Peter Obi na wagari kankuramu. Awagari ba. Okay, banya manyam very soon. But we are not going to force our people. We are not going to force anybody to not to go for Peter Obi. Go for your candidate. Anybody you want to go for him. But we are telling you people that you people must come back. And by the time you people will be back to us, I got go on ever no Ghana. And if we put it, we buy them and them. Because we are saying it now. They bring out P2B to divide IPOB. But little they know, they don't know that we are strong. Some sympathizer of IPOB, they are all of them there now. OB, OB, there to be there to an accurate story. Okay, Mono Vumnaya. That is exactly what they contracted Iberima to do to distract our people, to stop our people to go for their own candidates. They want to stop election in Biafra land so that Tifubu and the this one that come from Cameroon that is not a Nigerian. I keep on saying this. I think Wabubaka is not a Nigerian. Nigerian constitution said before you contest for election, you must be a Nigerian. Mazen Namdekano can never contest election in Nigeria because when he well when he was born, he was born as a Biafra. He cannot. He cannot. Contest as a, as a president of Nigeria. Bugari himself that was born in a, is it a, wasn't um, um, Chad, Chad or Nigel, Mali, Mali or Chad, something like that. That is where they came from, his grandfather. So he was not born in Nigeria. That to show you Nigeria don't even know their law. Atiku Abubakar is from Cameroon. Now you understand what I'm saying. And like I said, if Tinubu become your president, Tinubu will be the second Esco, uh, second uh, what is the name of this man in uh, in um, is it Escobar, a drug dealer? He will turn Nigeria to a drug dealing country, and they believe you me, eighty percent of you people will turn to junkie. Am I lying to you people? If you call a drug or reach airport, they will sign it for you to pass. Tinubu will sign for you. Because this is how he made his money. He's a drug dealer. He's a drug, drug dealer. He's a 419er. Everything will be legalized in Nigeria. Drug dealing 419. By the time you know it, you people are zero in the world. Now, let us send this message to Peter Obi, and you will know that Mazen Namdekano is a messiah. This message will go to Tony Blay. Where is Tony Blay? And I want you people to tag Tony Blay. I want you people to tag the uh, British government. I want you people to tag CNN, BBC. And uh, the agent of uh, provocateurs invite them. Listen to what our Saman said. This one is no more a Biafra man. And I want Tony Blade to listen. We have come to stay. We are not going to stop on this Biafra restoration project. Now listen. <laughs> Good morning, my fellow Nigerians. My name is Abubaka. Yes. I'm just coming out from a degree right now. Now yeah, what is happening? You people don't know what is trying to come. We don't you know. people don't know. How do we know? How do you, know? you people don't know Nigerians. You people don't know what is coming. How do they know? <laughs> my friend, I just be gone down. Oh God. Are, are you sure? You people don't know. They well, don't lie, know. Well, lie, they lie. Know? You people don't know. You people should go back home. I share about this country. Okay. 
Nambi Kanu is right. Oh, you, you, you always be Walai, right. Nambi Kanu is right. You will always be right. They are, they are preparing, they are preparing some, some people. They are preparing some people. In Medugri camp, there's a big camp in the forest where they are preparing some people. And who are those people training? The Boko Haram, they are training them. Who are they training them? The British Army. Okay. That the people training these people okay. to take over Nigeria. Is where so is Tony Blade there? You people should go back home. Where is Tony Blade? Mr. Peter Obi. Go back. Mr. Peter Obi, go please here. go back home. Go yeah, back yeah. to your people. I'm on, I'm on, go I'm back busy. to your people. Busy, the robot people don't be deceived. Go back home. I'll be running inside the bush, inside the forest since day before yesterday. Me and my colleague. Yes. Me and my colleague, we have run inside. But we don't know these people are all over the forest here. They are all over the forest. They are working with the Erima. They are all over the forest. Erima is a booking man. These people just need another four years to round up what they have started. I told you people, they will find out for them. Simon, they find it full man. You should go back home. Now the county is right. You will be always right. You don't know what is trying to come. No. People don't know what is trying to come. People will go back home. Pito Obi, Pito Obi, na isi faka baka yehe na efegali. Fegali se gada. Eva ana kogili. Agwa go ge 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 malefi ge me. Ye help o mo nego. I gave advice to you from the beginning. Regardless what you 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 did to our people, kill by killing them, dump them in Uji River. But I give you an advice to go back and help your people. And tell them. You know, if you people really want to stop this Nigeria, or you people want to want Nigeria to continue working, the first thing that you people are supposed to be talking about is this 99 constitution. You, Tifubu, uh, this man from uh, from uh, from Cameroon, which is Atiku Abu Bakr, and Peter Obina and ABC Baka Baka. This is something that you people are supposed to put on the table. But Oga, what are we going to do about 99 constitution? Let us sit on a round table and know what we are going to do with this. Because this 99 constitution is not also going to help us if we get there as a president. No, they call one idiot. Is it Abga, 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 a uh, 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 candidate? He was talking rubbish. He said when they enter there, they will change the one they will change. They will leave the one they will leave. And I create a good story. And the man said that he's a prof. Now you want, he said he's a prof. That is why I tell you people, don't mind all these idiots. They will come and tell you we are prof, prof. Prof, hey, they make ages. Who is this one that right before? Let me see. Simon Eber is right. But your father, I think your none of your family were killed in this seat at home. That is why you come here and begin to write nonsense. None of your family, none of your loved one, none of them are there. If they are there, you will understand what we are talking about. Because the jealousy in you people cannot allow you people to reason. Is your family, did they kill their family? The answer is no. Probably your father, your father left your mother, or you, your mother was uh, pregnant by Fulani, so you will come to this life. If your father is a Fulani, that means that your, you are Fulani, the way Simon Eber is a Fulani. The mother of Simon Eber is an Igbo woman, the father is a Fulani. That is why he's behaving. That is why Malami contracted him. Onion do say it from DSS Zon John. Don't you people listen to what Onion do say? This is Aaron Abun. Onan Abu Dinko. Onan Emeroni here, man. Chukubuono. Chukubuono. To a kangi sine wepo si ono one after the other. You will agree with your father tomorrow. Opu go here, go here. I, nah, eh. 
Okay, yeah, I have seen it. I have seen it. I have seen it. You will agree with your father tomorrow. We are on humanitarian service. That is who we are. Nobody contracted us. But the same fan your job for is this, but the same fan your job for is that. I want you people to listen to what Mazin Namdekano said about but the same fan your job for. You will know that but the same fan your job for have done what none, none, none of them have ever get into that position. Oh, you do praise, but I still find a job for After they tell Simon, eh, don't let devil enter you. But dev devil enter Simon. Okay. Am I saying devil enter Simon? This is their plan from the beginning. Through uh, Kaafia, uh, Oyibo, that watered her ground with 100,000 audio money. Oyibo forced our leader to come to Radio Biafra to announce 100,000. Because they, they gave us, they don't know no money, audio money. They also came on Radio Biafra, forced our leader to come and announce it that they can sell their house to support the struggle. Otu Abunezi, contracted agents. Bridget Okafor for his hiding today after he have sent Jack to go and set up uh, camps. And I cannot go Jack. Jack, I will give you a He's now in DSS dungeon and he's vomiting. He's vomiting. He's vomiting. Or do you remember now? Was yours? Or do you remember what is over now? Was yours? Idiot. You know what is happening? You know what is happening? You know what is happening? You know what is Okay, I use the okay, your father. Let me put this one to where he belongs to. They won't own them. I hope I will get him. I hope I will get him. What is his name? I, I get him blocked. Then you go and tell your father. You go and tell your papa. Now your papa, you go and tell idiots. I'm a negotiator. I'm unknown to get shiba do never in a man. Your 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 lineage will be closed. I'm unknown. Now listen to what Mazi Namdekano say about Barisi. Find your job for. No, not this one. Wait, wait. We are unrelenting and nothing can shake us. No. They know we are unbreakable. Oh. Even our lawyers cannot be bought. Yes. But it's the devil cannot be compromised, it cannot be bought. Uh -huh. That was why they read this home. But before I go on any further, I must welcome each and every one of you. Oh, yeah. But lawyers cannot be bought. Can but it's the devil cannot be compromised, it cannot be bought. That was why they read this home. Schools. Let me not digress too much. Let me go back to backstage. Digress, digress. And all the nonsense that the zoo, zoo people are doing. They invaded the by stage. Your first house, everybody knows that very well. Yes, but yes. if you look from the way they're writing about it, yes. you would think NPOB actually went to a police station and killed police people. Okay. Nobody. That is why black people, black Africans are so wicked. Nobody asks the policeman, what did you go to the first He said, he's a liar for goodness sake. Someone ever is bringing it. All of a sudden, the first is now uh, one NPOB member. Uh, do you see? Uh, do you see how evil people are? How the same you can be, you know. You right. know, wait. I want you people to also know the same man, the same issue, because there is no different. The same issue that Simon Ibirima, the terrorist, brought up to you all, telling you people the reason why they invaded, invaded Barry Stephen Ejofo House. The same issue Mazen Namdekan is talking now. 
Simon Ebana is challenging Mazen Nandekano, saying in a sense that Mazen Nandekano don't know what he's saying. The same issue now. Mazen Nandekano have the, he says that, you know, that is sometimes when I'm telling you that Mazen Nandekano is a, is a saint. This man knows what will come, what is coming ahead. He will talk about it. The same thing now Simon Eba is telling you people they paid by the Stephen age for he received money, he want to kill Mazen Nam the Canon, he have compromised. Mazen Nam the Canon have seen this and you know prepare your minds so that when such a thing comes, you will know that they are a gent of provocateurs. Yes. The only person that brought out his client, his high profile client from the nation. High profile client, Mazen Nam. High is still there. The suki is still there. Yes. Fanana is a senior advocate. Of he's still fighting. He's still fighting. Fanana, they even insulted him by coming to court to pick up. Are you listening? His client. His client. But if I hit you, for is the only man only in man. the history of the zoo under this current zoological oh, republic oh, you oh, have now oh, under the Daura Caliphate. Daura Caliphate. He's the only person to bring out his client. Now you listen. Alive, safe, and well from the prison. For your information, for that is the person they are referring to as one one Ifanye Jofo. The same, the same, a the same Ifanye Jofo Eberima is telling you people now. The same Ifanye Jofo, only man that brought out a high profile. You know, how did you do put itself? A high profile or something? How are you so you will make your mistake? <laughs> uh, he brought Onyendo out. Falana is there. A high profile prisoner, or how they put prisoner of conscience. He brought Mazen Namdekar out. Live. The same man now, Simon Eber, came out and began to tell you people, but it's a fine age of four. So do Onyendo, but it's a fine age of four. Do this. Uh -huh. He's referring to a Jofo that is known all over the world. A Jofo is known all as over one if I need Jofo. One if I need Jofo. Why would a Jofo need to hide from the police? He's committed no crime. No crime. I want the world to understand what transpired in Orifite because all they hear is the wrong here come. They are so foolish. They don't pay attention because I grew up in the village. There is an update where I come from. He don't in Ali Numerin Danda. If you don't settle down and go through the facts, you will be misled by channels television and some of that gutter and global media. Gutter, I told them. Gutter. A nation that gets its news from channels television God. is doomed to fail. Doomed to fail. You will always fail. Because they are full of liars and deceivers. Mazen and the All that matters to a black person is his family. How he to take care of his children. You want your children to go to private school, but other people's kids to go to the primary school. school. So your family will continue to rule forever and never not live with that rubbish. Oh. That is what channels is trying to do to some of you. Yes. Channels is the is the instrument, is the link through which this Alamajri Caliphate wants to destroy your brain. They first destroy your brain, they come in, they take your land. The next time you have no home, you have no land, you're finished. No channels television Talk. if they did not put what Orifi the community wrote. Mm -mm. They didn't listen to what Brite Jofo had to say. But it had nothing to do with IPOP. It's about her village. Minabe, people, masquerade group. It's nothing to do with IPOP. Mm. It's all over the even, even people that I respect. And I will not I will not say anything bad about Amnesty International because they're very good. At least impartial. Amnesty International, because the case had to do with IPOB lawyer, it must be IPOB. Amnesty quickly tweeted, IPOB, because are you trying to buy favors from the zoo government? I'm asking Amnesty in Abuja, are you trying to buy favors? Because I don't believe in Okonazukum Nerunala. If you are not going to stand on the truth, you get away from the road. You must get away from I'm talking to Amnesty. If you cannot Simon stand is a criminal and terrorist. The same body stage of four, they are saying, remember that Simon ever said many times on his broadcast that he had been discussing with Barista Ifanye Jofo. He had been communicating with Ifanye Jofo. 
the same broadcast he said that he is the one that left Barisifan Yejofo. It had been a long time that he talked to Barisifan Yejofo. The same Simon Ebana is telling you people the same man that he defended. Because in the Nanyuni they are those that, you know, that is why I'm saying when Onyendu comes out, I must, I must tell Onyendu what is also happening. The way those people claim to be his brother also are part of those that destroy this movement but they cannot destroy it and i will also tell onyendu about the finance how she thought because she is in charge of our money kingsley kanu knows about our money and the leadership which is in the person of Majishi Kedozim. They are sidelining him because they hate on him. I will tell Onion do everything. I will. There is no one there. Copy my video. You know, copy it and keep it. So that I want you to use it against me tomorrow. Because I can never be follow follow freedom fighter. That is why I will say everything the way it is. They now want to bring a stack illiterate, they call coordinator to replace the national coordinator, a stack illiterate. Tell me what this man is going to do. They never write any petition against the zoo government here in Germany. The media warriors are the people that are fighting on media, fighting on the ground, receiving all the complaints advising people the coordinators they are mute and you tell me that these people worth to be a coordinator only do when he come out a lot of things will change we need people that have brain we need people that can be able to make things happen we need people that can be able to sit on a round table and be able to carry something up not in the because they find nobody. You are sitting down there as a coordinator, collecting money, limiting money to where you're supposed to go. That is not only your job. Your job is begin to make things happen. But a starkly military they want to put as a national coordinator. Can somebody tell me the reason why they want to make him a national coordinator? What is involved? They have to tell us. Because they are not fighting for other people in other countries. Only here in Germany they are fighting for somebody else, a stack illiterate for that matter, to become a national coordinator. I have told the leadership, advice. My own is open and my own is in public domain. Mazichike, those young, we are supporting you. Take any decision you feel like that it will help this struggle to move forward. We are in support. We are in support. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. If you did not sue them, they wait till only to come, they complain. If they did not like it, they wait till only to come, they complain. They will keep on waiting till only to come. And they are going to me. Who are they on the kababo? They don't want to audit. They know what they are doing with our national account. There must be something wrong with that account. That is the reason why they don't want to audit. There must be something behind it. I don't know what... Yeah, tell us. I and when spirit comes, I say things the way it is. I don't know the reason why they're hiding the account to the, to the leadership. Obo no worry help the behind that account. Obo na faji na account to aya ato olo. Fa agwa anye na haji account aya ato olo. Ha agwa anye. No mo se if if ato batasiri de. Agacho. And by force by fire hage mepe na rin. 
Onu ke me penaria. Onu oku futu pe fe ho onu neme. All this on kuku na ne kuku gari ne zogali. We don't want to show it. The one onu ka banaria is something behind it. Obu onu ni jakanto. Ani me kuya ne cut it here. It's a question I'm asking. I am asking a question because there must be something behind it that you people don't want Mazi Shike to know because probably Mazi Shike don't want we see some transaction. Begin to ask your people. How did this money enter? How did they also pull out the money? Yeni na abu question ha yacho kamazi shike dozi mchuofa. I'm telling you people. Ha ga banare ayi fedi ni emia. So I have said my own. So I want you people to know that Simon Eba is a criminal. And I want the 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 those people that are writing petition that are saying that they must bring Simon. They must rendition him to that contraption called Daminibu Zoo. I want you people to also apply the same energy to release Mazin Namdekan. Let us also go in that pattern to sign if we can get, if you people want us to get uh, till 5,000 because Iberimana is 1,000 you people are looking for. Put our own to 5,000. We will sign it within only one hour we will sign it for the listing of mass. Only one hour we will sign five thousand. Put it ten thousand. You need ten thousand signatures to list Oyendo. Me, I'm promising you people under two hours we will sign it so that Oyendo will be free. But we know it's just a game plan. Simon Eba will come if you do not list Oyendo. We are going to do this. We are going to burn this. We are going to do this like they will list Oyendo. They are not going to list him. Because they know that onion do is their problem. Because of what they have, uh, the money that have already embezzled uh, those people that sold onion do, they don't want onion. Abraham, those of you that in Afaruku Ibe, you can't have a politician. You can't have a chance. Can you have a chance. Can you have a chance today? Because the next time, I'm not going to have a phone. Just one minute. My kids are home. Today is Saturday. Are you listening, my people? I have telling them some of you and an akazo ma bokwa phone. I will call you people's name. Ma bokwa phone. Kono gari sina ma bokwa phone. Ose na akazo no nana. Then who who to only do this way apa? And all this thing nonsense you people are writing. Always put it on IPOB. IPOB carries more weight. Even though I don't even understand what this guy writes. So I can't block him because I don't get his point. Uh, Mas, he said that uh, se, uh, Satan did not enter. Someone there by himself is evil. You know. But I want to tell our people there is a lot of things behind Simon. Simon there is not doing this because he's powerful or he's somebody or he thinks no. You know, the problem is like, like I said, uh, I have I have a lot of people that have called me to come and work with them. You know, if I'm kind of person that so much love money, you know, I can join them. Not a pure order like this. You people will be wondering what is giving this guy power. Hold on. There's something behind Simon Eber. Don't think, who is Simon Eber to begin to say, I will deal with two people if you come out, I will deal. And he said it and he did it the way he, the way he said it. He, re, he, de, he, he makes sure they kill, as he said it. And what is happening? Nothing is happening. Let me tell you people something, something you people don't even understand. A lot of you are writing petition to bring Simon Eba to come and answer the question of those that have killed. Because you have made our people kill our people. Have you ever asked yourself if the Nigerian government have went and have some discussion with Finland Embassy 
or Finland the government tell them that this guy is our boy. What he's doing is what we want him to do. Do you think that anything will happen to Simon Eber? There is nothing. Nothing can happen to him. You may run from now till thy kingdom come. That is why Oyen do told us before. Some people are asking, but you said that Bugari have died. Why the imposter is going to every country to go and give speech? Oyen do reply. As far as the Nigerian government said, or they bring a goat, take this goat to Poland with the representatives they have behind the goat. And they tell Finland government that this goat you are seeing here is a Bugari. They will never doubt it. You know, this man went to that summit with a group of people that they are into government. They are supporting him, telling you that this goat is our president. Do you think that government in, in somebody like Poland will tell you, no, this is not Bulgari? No, they won't tell you so. Because there is something they want to benefit also. There is reason why he was there for that summit. So he's there. These people are there for what they will benefit. And the business they want to have together. You understand? That is why he's there. So even though if you package me now with this my face, now that you know that me and Bugari, we don't have any resemblance at all. If you package me and Adeshino was, um, um, somebody like Lailai Mohammed is involved, uh, somebody like Erufa is involved, uh, information minister is involved, the Nigerian uh, uh, the general, all of them, they are involved and they sign a signature that the Bia franchise in Chineke is Bugari. If I reach there, they will accept me. And I will sit and begin to talk. They don't care who speaks. As far as the government have signed and said that this is their president, why should you be questioning them? You don't question them. And this international community will never question them because, you know, before a president take a trip to other country, there is a representative that follows him. As far as the representatives are with the president, that means that it's their president. So there is nothing you can say about it. So what I'm saying now to our people, if, like, because we know that Simon Eber is working with some politicians in a sense that they want to stop election in Biafra land. That is the reason why they put this five-day seat at home. If it works, perfect. Now they have gained the ground. What they will do now is like the day of election or before two days to election, they will set another seat at home. Now nobody will come. Nobody will vote for anybody in Biafra land. Now the campaign, I mean the election will be only in North and the West. Now you understand the plan of these people. Even though the governors, those people that started, you know, those people that, that they, 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 they also bought the ticket for the, for the president the, to be part of the, the candidate that they failed. You know, somebody like uh, all these uh, uh, Dave Umahi that hated on P2B that because they have failed they will never like P2B you know just to you know stand as a candidate they would like to do everything in their power to make sure they stop the election in Biafra land so that the candidate they are supporting will be election will be going over there at the end they will tell you uh, who loans or Unknown government stop election in Biafra land. That is their game. They know what they are doing. So they are part and parcel of all this thing that Simon Eber is doing. And they are backing Simon. That is why Simon Eber Now you understand. He will kill people. At the same time, you people are writing petition against Simon. But he's there drinking Hennessy now. What are you going to do? Or you don't see it. Are you people blind? Do you know what it is? For somebody to commit such a hideous crime and still be drinking pan wine on top of it, laughing and dancing. Do you know what? There is power behind it. There is a strong power behind it. Those people that they are there, they may go to Finland tomorrow, tell them to bring your, 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 your crude oil ship, come and put it there, come and suck oil, maybe you suck maybe like 
30, 30,000 million barrels. Come and suck it for free. Let us close this chapter and allow the guy to leave because he's, a, he's our agent. He's working for us. We know what he did. Yes, life is on the kill people. Souls lost, but we know it's okay. What are you going to do? You are not going to do anything. That is why we are saying that we know who they are. Tell the Igbo representative, tell all those people that are writing the same petition to bring Simon and Eba back, tell them to write it so that they will free onion for us. They should write the same thing now. Why are they not going to put it? Let them put it too. So that they will free onion do. Because Simon Eba knows that they are not going to free onion do. The way he is thinking, you know, as a contracted person, he will be basing his, uh, you know, his case on you must free onion do. That is the case that he's trying to use or to, I mean to lay his hand and begin to say they must free onion do, they must free onion do. And he knows that the case have gone to Supreme Court. When you tell them, say, let us wait till the Supreme Court come. Simon Emma is there deceiving you people. Five days sit at home have ended. What is the result? Where is the result? Tell me the result. It remains 89 days. We are counting. We are going nowhere. We are going nowhere. They are saying that this is what the leadership is supposed to do. Simon is now, okay, you are killing your own people. Uh, that is what uh, we said. Go and face the enemy. Go to Abuja to DSS and remove Mazin Nandekan the way they remove Abakiyari. Abakiyari is today in Switzerland enjoying after killing and massacring our people. Abakiyari is a free man in Sweden enjoying. And he's not ready to come back again. He will only sneak with a private jet, come to see his family, and then go back. Now you understand how they roll. He's today in America, enjoying. After P2B said that, uh, he, 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 what, he, what did he say? He saved money for Omo Kai Kai. Omo Kai Kai, now where is he? He's enjoying America. There is nothing you can do to him in America. If you talk too much, he will go there and seek for political asylum. He is close. Abak Yari today will be on asylum. There is no how you will bring him back. Because by you bringing him back, he's going to face, you know, because before they will rendition you, they will know the country, maybe the country they will rendition you if your life will be in danger. If your life will be in danger, they are not going to rendition on you. That is why they did not go court for Marcin Namekano. Because they know that they will never grant them. Abba Kiyari is a free man in Sweden enjoying with your money. Will you be an is in America going to club with your money? It will be saved money for him. The same money is coming to save for Fulani people. We have told him to go back. Use that your sense. Use that your knowledge. And go and sit on a round table to tell them, let's first talk about the 99 constitution. Let us talk about it. the constitution first. Let's talk about it. Let us stop the constitution. Right? Because it's a fraudulent. It's a fraudulent. You understand what I'm saying, my people? The constitution is a fraudulent. The, you know, they, uh, they will say that uh, they want to amend it. It's not so you are not going to mend that constitution. You trash it into being. You trash all of them into being and go back to 1963. Or before the after the amalgamation. You brought that one back. That is people that reason. You don't have to mend it because there's nothing you meant. Even though you mend it 20 times, it will also favor the full animal because the census is there. The census is there. Are you people listening? Census is there. So the best thing is to trash it into being and go back to the old after the amalgamation. Then we start from there. No, they will not go. Ask me to be because some of them, they don't even know that Nigeria have expired. I want you people to ask Tifubu, a criminal. Ask this one that comes from Cameroon that is not a Nigerian. And ask me to be that now peace. Did they know that Nigeria have expired in 2014? Did they know? 
The American nation of Uruga, did they, did they have an idea? They have an idea, yeah? No, they don't have an idea. That is why we are here to remind them things that they have already been, been forgotten. Because though these people you see, they don't reason and they don't learn. They don't understand what is going on. The one that is expired already, you people are forcing us without discussing if are we going to move forward. Really, really. So I will end my broadcast here. I thank you all and I hope every one of you listening. I hope tomorrow, by the special grace of Chuku Kikabiyama, I'm going to come with my brother, my comrade, Onya Amueshi Oba, the IG police of IPOB. The guy reasons a lot. He thinks deeply. He understands the modus operandi of this movement. And he has that capacity to, you know, propagate this issue of Biafran restoration projects. Not to begin to lie to our people or what you will gain. I want to greet you all great people of Biafran. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank Chukwu Kikabiyama for giving our leader life that is still living today upon the plan to kill him in Kenya and they rendition him and today he's still living and we pray that he will soon join us and he will start where he stopped. I also pray for the wife of our leader who she she dear why you she dear why actually papa knows why actually na okay urian why in the run of one book sin a mazen nam de cano a deserve war the wife how what are you know so you can i knew me mommy you know that jam is no no 20 wives kaga what are you have a group and i what is behind there is nothing you know we don't know. But you may push with you on one day on your hoop if I ask you, you know. Can go on or that there is nothing that Mazen Namdekan will do on this life we are. We must support him. Also, go do engage the Mazen Namdekan in no one. We will support him. That is a lifestyle. There is something that person, you know, everybody have his own life. Oh yeah, Mele, when even though when the video of Mazen Namdekanu came up last time on his honeymoon with the wife, they circulated the video, say that Mazen Namdekanu is a busy wife. We support him. So he and Nagwa Kuna also Kuna chide kuya ne nuwa ye again. Also kuya on your own Mele. Oh, thank you very much. Now, now, but he say on kaha wasa lagon, kaha wasa lagon. He got na kuasa na kugale. We will support Mazen Namdekanu. <coughs> Regardless, so I greet you all, great people. Mazen Namdekan, we love you. We we'll continue praying for you. We we'll continue, you know, telling our people the way it is. And Simon Ebirima, the terrorist, must go with all this crime that he committed. He must pay for it, and there is no two ways about it. And the way you people are saying that Simon should pay for it. You people should also come and tell us who are those behind that Ebirima. Because the way he barks like a dog, you must know there's something behind it. He just an ordinary person cannot just bark like that. And Ebirima, if you think that you know something that nobody knows about our leader, come and tell us. Let us start begin to defend him now. Because there's nothing you can say about our leader that we can never defend him. There is nothing. One nail. I have told you the last. Also, good. I defend Mazinelli Ofebu on her echoes. It does not matter that I like what she's doing or what she has done on this struggle by destroying, uh, by trying to destroy, I mean to say, because they can never get there. I defend her on her echoes. Talkless of Onye Ndu. Jidia de Nwane. Mbibu Pteleke Gafun Ketrobi Atina. Mbawo Datna. We will also make it a uh, to everybody, no, it's just you know, you know, it's a one you know, it's a picture they are post to, and we will do it. You regrow my name, it's a picture of what you am gonna guys where I do. I thank you all. The DOS, the dogs are wise. I thank you all. Uh, we are going to also listen to the 
to the when was this broadcast i think uh the broadcast is coming up very soon let me see when the broadcast is coming so i can make just a small announcement on the broadcast so that people will follow it and i know that and uh, i want to the leadership to also make sure you people go to italy deal with the people in italy i want you people to deal with them seriously but those people in italy most of the coordinators I got a funny man there. You people should go to Italy and seize them not to operate in Italy. Don't let their leg cross Italy. Don't let it. The leadership, I'm telling you people. Advice. Advice. I'm giving advice. I'm giving advice. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't let them infiltrate our people in Italy. Go to Italy. There is a lot of things going in Italy. There is a lot of... Uh, I don't have this... Uh, I don't have this post here. Okay, you see. Uh, when when is that? When is that? Uh, okay, that was that gonna be tomorrow. Date. 18th, 2022, 18th December 2022. Exclusive live. HGOS is coming. Mazichike. Dozem the deputy to Mazichike. Dozem wish is Maze Nzurumike, the deputy DOS, Maze Austin Albanian, European rep. Uh, Mazi Ushechuku Nashi South American Rep Mazi M. Madu Mazi Baba Shijoke American Representatives Mazi Aizayoba Deputy to European Rep All these people is going to be live on Radio Piafra where we are worshipping and we are going to also stream it on rapture media we are going to stream it also on twitter facebook on biafran television online on biafran television channel one when you tune all these things and some platform that is also available to us we are going to stream all these things i want you all to join this broadcast tomorrow 18th uh december 2022 exclusive live by HDOS Mazichiki. Those we are waiting for you people to also make sure at uh, 7.30 BT Biafran time, that is when the program will start. It will be anchored and hosted by Mazi Jonathan Shinedu on our gathering. I thank you for your great work for the you know humanitarian uh, service that you are giving to great people of Biafra without getting paid. Because that is what they call humanitarian service. Like people that I called here, Mazi Tony Zrumike, the deputy to Mazi Chike, Dosim Mazi Osnabanim, the European rep, and the Mazi Uche Chukunachi, South American rep, Mazi M. Mado, Mazi Baba Chijoke, American representatives, Mazi Isaiah Oba, the deputy European rep, they are going to be here tomorrow, 7 30. Biafran time. Make sure you are there and join them and let us move because collective, not individual, collective, we shall move this struggle forward. Like I said, the DOS, those I'm following, anything that you people are doing, make sure you get to Italy. Let them, let us stop them in Italy. We are going to stop their criminals' activities in Italy. We are going to make sure they see nothing again in Italy. And when we be able to do that, believe you me, their wings, they cannot fly again. If we can be able to mount them stand still in Italy, there is no wings again. We know the reason why they came out last time and begin to yap and talk all sort of rubbish from their mouth. We know the reason why. So I want you people to go to play in Italy and see what is going on there because a lot is going on in Italy. We say things the way it is because we are not full of freedom fighter. I have been here for days, for years. My face is out there. I can't even travel to see my loved ones. So I say things the way it is and always down the consequences. I greet you great people till we see tomorrow before the broadcast will start. I salute you. I still remember Mazo Kenno Kechuku. From me.
from here we see again.